So I want to tell you about a new paper um, which investigates novel molecular mechanisms underlying two major diseases, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and frontotemporal dementia, ALS and FTD for short. These are complex and progressive neurological diseases, both caused by damage to neurons, connecting either to muscles or to specific brain regions, um, and leading to symptoms including muscle wasting in the case of ALS and neuronal dysfunction uh, to the brain in FTD. It's known that one of the key cellular phenotypes causing this damage within the affected neurons is accumulation of protein aggregates in the cytoplasm, which are toxic for the cell, and you can see those here in green. Now, the neuron has inbuilt ways to both prevent formation of these aggregates in the first place and to get rid of them once they form, um, including through a process called autophagy. This involves collecting them up in a portion of the cell's own cytoplasm within a double membrane, which then fuses with the lysosome, resulting in digestion of the contents. In this new paper, the authors discuss how the protein product of the gene most frequently mutated in ALS, uh, C9-ORF72, functions in this process in neurons in novel ways and show for the first time how a partial loss of function leads to pathogenesis. Firstly, the authors show that C9-ORF72 works as part of a complex. It binds to two key proteins, SMCR8 and WDR41, um, and only when, when these three proteins are bound together is this able to act as a GDP-GTP exchange factor, um, thus promoting the activity of Rab GTPases. In particular, this is true for Rab39b, which helps in the early steps of the autophagy process. Another protein, often mutated in ALS, also feeds into this common pathway, regulating autophagy in neurons. This is tank binding kinase 1, and the authors show that TBK1 phosphorylates SMCR8. So what happens when C9-ORF72 expression, and thus the function of this pathway, is reduced? Well, um, the basal process of autophagy is partially impaired, which leads to accumulation of protein aggregates that would usually be cleared away. One of the most important findings of this paper is that this consequence of C9-ORF72 depletion synergizes with other cellular stresses. Specifically, a mutant version of a taxin 2 um, is itself prone to aggregation, and crucially, when C9-ORF72 is depleted, accumulates in greater amounts. So this feeds into a double hit mechanism for disease. Whereas loss of function or haploinsufficiency of C9 or 72 is not alone sufficient to cause neuronal cell death, this synergizes with other genetic modifiers, um, together leading to a greater accumulation of toxic proteins within the cell. This in turn then leads to neuronal degeneration, which manifests as muscular or neurological symptoms in patients. This paper also therefore hints at activators of autophagy as potential therapeutics. The work for this was carried out primarily in the groups of Nicolas Charlotte Bergeron at IGBMC and Idor Kabashi at the ICM with Chantal Sellier as lead author. For more information, the paper is available online.